Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I'll share with you two easy ways to draw sparkling stars in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get to it. So first I created a dark background and I gave it some color. Now use a paintbrush tool to draw four dots to pose it to each other at a distance. We'll use those dots to guide us in drawing the path and it will act as the vertices of a star. Now use a pen tool to start drawing the star shape. Place your anchor at the point above and then click on the second adjacent point and hold your click to create the curve. Repeat the same steps for the next adjacent vertex until you get the star shape. Now switch the stroke and fill color or just make sure that the fill is white. Select the star, click on the Effect tab, then Stylize, then Outer Glow. Now this tab appears. Keep the glow color as white with opacity 100. Adjust the blur base on your artboard and star size, then click OK. Now use the pen tool again to create two perpendicular lines passing through the vertices. Make sure you have the stroke color as white too. Then increase the stroke weight. Select the two lines, then click on the Effect tab, then Blur, then click on Gaussian Blur. This tab will appear. Select the value depending on your artboard size and the stroke weight, then click OK. Voila, you recreated your star in just two minutes. Now let's head over to the second way to draw sparkling stars. First, use a pen tool to draw perpendicular lines. Change the stroke shape and pick width profile 1 to give fine sharp endings. Then increase the stroke weight. Now copy the two strokes and paste them on the top of the ones we just created previously. Select them, click on the Effect tab, then Gaussian Blur. Adjust the blur strength, then click OK. Now select the strokes we created at first, the ones without the blur. Click on the Effect tab, then Stylize, then Outer Glow. Adjust the values, then click OK. Now to add more glow to the star, use the Ellipse tool to draw an oval at the center. Select the gradient option for the fill. In the gradient panel, switch the colors to white. Just to avoid any confusion, I just want to say that at first I left the second color as black, but then I switched it to white in the next few seconds. Now to blend the colors, set the second color, the outer one in the gradient, to 0% opacity. Use a gradient tool to adjust the gradient of the oval. Make sure the gradient flows in an oval shape too. Copy and paste this oval, then rotate it and then place it on the horizontal line. Now click on the Effect tab, then Blur, then Gaussian Blur. 
adjust the values, then click OK. Then apply the same effect to the second oval tool. And here we go. To reach this final result, I copy pasted the stars in a lower opacity behind the ones we just created earlier. So that's it for today. If you find this helpful, please leave a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.